Welcome back to the basement yard. How you doing, D? What's up? How's it going, D? How you doing, all right? I'm doing, doing all right. Good. How's your mother? Is she all right? She's you know. good? She's all right. She's good? Yeah. I've seen her. She's with my mother at church. No way. Yeah, I didn't go. I don't open my eyes too much today, so I don't see a lot. You yeah, know, you know what they okay. say? Believe, you know, half of what you hear, none of what they say. You know what I'm and, saying? And only a quarter of what you see. And, and, and 10% of what you thought you heard. That's what they say. What are we doing? Street talk. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing. Talking from the street. Talking from the street? Yeah. Okay. Um. Anyway, I believe that we have uh, some... I got a lot going on over Yeah, what's here. going on? <laughs> this microphone's all Shaking all over the place over yeah. there. No, but uh, I think we have uh, something to settle. Yeah, you went to dinner without me. No, I mean... Yeah, I did. You went to dinner without me. Yeah. Just didn't think I would, did, don't think I would be there at my favorite place to eat? Why? But like... I don't understand this. What don't you understand? There's not much to understand. That I, well, you're mad. You were mad at me before that too. Yeah. Because because I made you come in. Well, I didn't make you. You made it seem like I made you come in for work after you were in the hospital. I know you. You would have thought of me a certain way if I did not arrive for work the next day. What does that even mean? Because I know you have uh, what is it uh, expectations. Okay. Expectations, you know? Why are you adding letters to that word? I don't know. Expectations. That, 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 that was an actual accident. Yeah. Didn't add any extra acts in there. Yeah. yeah. But no, it's like, you know, there's like a, you do a very like, uh, you speak with like, without speaking. What the fuck are you saying? I'm saying like. Telepathically? Yeah, yeah. I'm a magician? Yeah. I'm a hypnotist. You know, hypnot- no, hypnot- ask hypnot- anybody that you know. You have a good way of speaking without speaking. Like my eyes say words. Yes, your um, eyes say words. What are they saying you're now? Very, your your emojis say words. My emojis. Your your abbreviations say words. What are what's LOL? Laugh out loud. No, no, I know what it means, you asshole. But what does it mean? Like uh, an acronym. It's an acronym. Yeah. You you speak, fucking. Sentences with acronyms. Does that make sense? No. This la- the last thirty seconds. I feel like you're having a, having a stroke or no, something. No, I'm all right. I'm all right. It's like you say things with your sentences. I'll, all I know is that if I didn't show up, would have looked a little funny in your eyes. You would have looked at me differently. Oh, really? Because yeah. here's what actually fucking happened before you went on your little tirade and like this like. Joe's an asshole thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First no, of all. because that's exactly what happened. First of all. Yeah, that's why you're smiling, you fucking asshole. Here's what actually happened. Danny was in the hospital for whatever. Elevated and, blood sugars. Yeah, his shit was skyrocketing into yeah. God knows where. I don't want to say how high it was because it was embarrassing how high it was. It was pretty high. It was over 400. Yeah, it was a, Yeah, it which was is, high. Which is dangerous. That's dangerous levels of blood sugar. Right. So when that happens, you should go to the hospital. Absolutely. You should. Which you told me what your levels were. And I was like, dude, go to the fucking yes. hospital. He did um, say that. I will give him that. Then, while, whilst in the hospital. Good use of whilst. Or whilst. Whilst. I don't know. Whilst. Will, same shit. I don't know. Will Smith? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> I like that. So, Will Smith, he was in the hospital. Yeah. He FaceTimes me, and he's laying on a fucking stretcher or whatever the fuck. And he's like, yo, they're taking my blood. I just need you to distract me. I'm like, I don't like to look at my blood get taken out. That's fine. That's besides the point. The whole point of me bringing that up is that at the end of that conversation, you're like, yo, it's all good. I'll just be in tomorrow. I'm like, oh, all right. Yeah, but when people say that, they expect a, a something back. Oh! Yeah. It's reverse psychology. Did, did you? I mean, if I were you, I would have been like, yo, bro. Nah, you were convincing. You were not like going out on your shield like side kind of thing. Like you weren't like. That didn't oh. make any sense either. No, you weren't like. No, what I'm saying is you weren't trying to be like a warrior. Like, oh, man, like, you know, but I'll, I'll be in, man. I, I promise I will. Like you weren't saying like that. No, I'm like, not going to say I promise you. That's weird. No, not I promise. But you know what I'm saying? Like, look, look at my tone. Watch when I say this. Right. I go, ready? Hold on. I'm just listening. I'm calling yeah, my yeah. Ready? Like. Yo, I'll I'll be in tomorrow. Don't don't worry about it. Like I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll I'll be in. Don't worry. Like we'll get everything done. That's a desperate man trying to make me happy. That was pretty convincing. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty convincing. See, that's a desperate man trying to make me happy. You were just like fucking around, telling jokes, fucking with the nurse, and then you were like, oh yo, like I'll be in. Like don't like this is like whatever. I'm fine. I'm like all right. 
if I had gotten the vibe that you were hurting, I would I wouldn't. And then what happens? And then you go on this rant, this fake fucking rant on 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 uh, whatever. <laughs> the next day when he's in work and he's like, and Butch, by the way, he was totally fine. Yeah, work. I was fine. And then, <laughs> and then he leaves after I didn't ask him to stay. He he stays. Did I? Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. For what? Because it was a, a Wednesday. I went to the hospital. Thursday, we shoot the stank. For shirt. And then Frankie left and I was going to leave. And you were like, yo, you're just going to shoot and then just leave? We got stuff we got to get done. That's when I started. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I did say that. You know why? Because <laughs> it was 2.30. But coming off of the hospital, I would have been like, you know what? Kid was in the hospital last night. I'm going to let him slide. I'm going to get him. I maybe even call him a car myself yo, and yo, get him out of here. Yo, call, 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 <laughs> what? I, I don't know. That's just how I think. Oh, yeah, I bet you do. You Yo, know, you were fine. You know I am an extremely thoughtful person. So don't even say that I'm not. And I'm not. Oh, here we go. No, I'm I'm not saying no. I, I, you are. But you're a very business-oriented. Danny, in what world do you actually think that I would I don't not know. give you a shit that you went to the hospital. Dude, I don't know. You scare me sometimes, man. Oh, see, this is a fake. No, it's not. This. It's no, not. We're trying to set the record straight and you're perpetuating no, the no, joke. I'm not. I'm not perpetuating a joke. You could be kind of scary sometimes. I'm not a scary man. You're not a scary man. You have a scary aura. <laughs> you're very serious. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, Remember how you say no. you want to be more goofy? You're, you're a serious man. Uh, okay, I'm silly. I'm silly. <laughs> All right? <laughs> so what I took it as, I said, you know... When I go to the hospital, I'm thinking about I got responsibilities. I'm not thinking if I live or die. I said I got I got I got, I got like you said go out on the ship. I said you know I know what it is. I gotta let him know because I owe it to him. This is bullshit. Well, I'm not. No, it's not. You're you're in the hospital. I owed it to you to let you know where I was. <laughs> and you're not thinking if you live or die. And you're like I just gotta go home and edit. No. What oh I was saying fucking- was is that we had to film a show the next day. And my understanding of my sick brain was that I'll go, I'll shoot the show, then I'll go home and catch up on some rest. Joe did not let me go home. Right. That's where it started. No, the, That's where the joke started. Well, it, no, you know why? Yo, I, yo and don't <laughs> lie. And don't lie. I'm not. I'm not I, I won't. I and won't. do not lie. But you're, you're a scary guy sometimes. Listen, do not lie. That day, uh-huh. were you struggling? Was there anything even remotely off about you? I was a little tired, but I wasn't anything else. But tired because you were in the hospital late. Yeah. Not because you're physically ill. I was in the hospital late with tubes in my arms, yes. Okay. So when you show up at noon. Yeah. And then shoot a show for an hour and a half. Two hours. And that, nope. It was an hour, 48 minutes. We're rounding up today. <laughs> we're rounding up. And then you do that. The, the IRS could be watching. I need these hours on and the bus. <laughs> Round it up, and then, uh, and then you do that, and then you're you were gonna leave. So I was like, "Yo, we're like editing." No, you said it in a meaner, boss Joe, boss Joe. That's who it was. Because you were like this, you were sprightly, you were young and shining, and you were like, "Oh yes, I'm having a good day." Okay, I will admit that. Will you admit this? You're when bo- boss Joe scared. Yes. No, I'm not gonna say he's. Scared. Oh, you said yeah. <laughs> no. You are boss I, Joe's no, scary. I will admit that I did say it in a way of like, because I was like. What are you doing? It was very bossy. It was no. <laughs> I'm yo, and you better tell the truth too. I will I tell not, the truth. I'm not that dude. I you know it. I know you're not. But but they the, don't. But, <laughs> they don't. I'll say I'll save your reputation today. I promise. So all right. So here's here's the, here's the deal. Uh, We've talked about this before. Joe, very driven man. <laughs> I admire it a lot. He's taught me a lot about being driven myself, which I appreciate. But all oh, the but. But the way that he said it was almost like, I don't care what happened to you last night. No. The tonality of your voice was kind of like, no, where are you going? And then I was like, ah! that, it was, and you were not like, that. no, no, no. But inside I was, that's fine. But the reason why I don't think you left, you were trying to leave because of the hospital. That's how well you were. No, I was tired. 
but whatever. Yeah. But, but the reason why you were going to leave, and I think I'm pretty sure we had this conversation immediately when I was like, why are you leaving? We have to like edit stuff. And you're like, oh, we're like super ahead. Yeah. And I'm like, but what does that mean? Like, we still can like well, get that was shit an, done. That was an excuse because I was tired. I'll admit that. Oh, okay, now I'm supposed to read your fucking mind. No, I'm just out. I'm just out here because if I would have told you, yo. Also, I'm never gonna say to you, yo, I'm tired from the hospital, man. Because then you're gonna be like, ah. Then you're gonna feel like a terrible person, which you are. <laughs> <laughs> people are gonna make are gonna think. No, they're that not. I'm this dude. No, no you're not. No, I know. A lot of people get the joke, but there's people who don't. And I get messages sometimes. I get them all the time when I post. <laughs> Wait, do you really? Yeah, I got a bunch. Because I know that Yo, night. Pe- people legitimately think you're a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it, and it's like it's one of my favorite things to do. And it's like e- I think it's so even obvious. after today, it's still gonna go on. I know. Because people love me that much. So what I'm gonna say is this, <laughs> Joe, very very great, gracious man to work for. But sometimes his tone gets a little bossy and scary. So sometimes it could be eggshelly, you know? He laughs at you. What? He LOLs you. Your LOLs have to fucking stop. Okay, the LOLs, I'll say I do. Yeah. I, it, you know, because you want to know what it is, is undermining. Listen. Like, if I come to you and I, could Joe be like, yo, man, like, we need to No, I, no, 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 no. Let me finish. Never happened. No, because you're going to fucking lie, you no, piece of I'm shit. No, I'm not going to lie. And if I, well, let me finish my you, statement. I love let me try, finish my statement. You try to finish, you try to, like, save me, and then you immediately I'm go just back. saying, we're talking, speaking the truth here. You can tell them about how I'm late all the time. I know that bothers you deep down in your core. Good. Does that bother you deep down in your core? No. You get your work done. That's true. I'll tell you what. All right, I take it back. I'll, you know what? I'll tell you what bothers me. Come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. My what? uncle used to say it all the time. Oh, I thought that was like German. Or no, something. no, no. Come on. Give like, it Jesus, to me. Jesus, relax. Uh, I'll tell you what does. Hit me. Don't hit me because you probably will. See? This is the joke. The the joke about, oh, man, Joey works me to the bone. Right? That bothers so, you. Yeah. All that. No, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't okay. bother me. It's just that... <laughs> If people knew how lenient it is over here, yeah, there is literally none of that. I know it's it's super lenient. We have an amazing time doing the show, but you like sometimes you gotta steer the ship. I, I, but no, that's I, the, that I but, get. But that's the thing. That's what you're supposed to do. But I'm too lenient, so sometimes you stray. No, but here's and the I thing. Gotta, I gotta rope you back in. Yeah, but there's sometimes it's not even my fault. If you have a bad weekend, like eating and drinking or something, it's like I got around. I got to man all the ships. You're like, I'm going to the gym at six o'clock. I'm gonna read a book in the park. I'm gonna tell you <laughs> what to do. We're doing all this. So then it's like it was like when you were young and your parents would hit one kid and hit you just to set a principle. Yeah, no. That's you know, I won't agree to that. That's all. That's all. That's the only thing. So. One time, this also happened. I'm going to tell this story on here. We were watching something out here. And you said something about editing the show. Like, snarky little smart comment from the boy. And I locked myself in that room, and I stayed here until it was done. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know what that was. Yeah. And, and you know what that was? And this is what this is what Danny does. I love, I love the beginning of this. It's just <laughs> so... Like, people are going to be like, what the fuck is this podcast? Um, but... What happens is, Danny, I'll be like, yo, let's do this, right? And look then look and a then, man in the eyes for and you, then he'll him, right? I'm looking at the people because I'm trying to have a <laughs> fucking thing. You already know this is true. I don't have to look into your soul. So You'll never come out. Yeah. <laughs> You'll never come out. You'll never get out. You'll never get out. We'll, we'll agree to something. Yes. And be like, yo, this has to be done this day or whatever, yes. right? Or yes. like, we're trying to get ahead. Like, we'll have a talk that day and be like, yo, let's try and like, you know, whatever. Then, uh, in the middle of the day, Daniel will just do whatever he wants. Because he's like, you know what? I'll just, like, do it at home. Or I'll do it, like, whatever. Okay. So I've been guilty of that. So See how willing I am to say I, I, I'm well, guilty? It's true. You don't have to admit anything. It is fact. No, I could fight it. Go ahead. Fight fact. I'm not fighting it. And then what happened that specific time, and I remember it being so ridiculous, because he literally, like a child, I brought up, I'm like... He was, like, watching something. There's other people here, too, which was fucked up. Huh? There's other people here. Sexy Pete was here. 
You fucking alpha dog, mate. I did not. I yeah. did not do that. No, you overreacted because you all- gotta get Pete. Uh, Pete. Pete. Pete knows. Finish. I did not overreact. I got my work done. Danny, you. I. I, I said in a very <laughs> normal tone. People are gonna love this, by the way. I said in a. You ver- think people aren't gonna like Listen, this? They're gonna love it. I don't think they are. I said in a very normal tone, like. That you said you were gonna edit the show or some sh- or something like that, right? Or or you might have made a comment of like he's got me here like all like late tonight, and I'm like you're watching football. Whoa, whoa! Also, another thing you do is you walk away as you tell people what to do. <laughs> what? Like you walk? I, I I walked down this hallway, and then once you did that, I said, you know what? I'm gonna go in there. I went I'm to the do- bathroom. I don't think so. I did because I remember because when I can't because I ran heard from you. Me. I ran from you. You ran from me. I said it to you and then walked away. How's that running? Turned your back on me. Also, you Danny went into the room. No, 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 no. Here's what happened because I remember. Yeah, I don't remember it that well. I remember this. No, no, no. This, oh, I'm so glad I remember. Thank God. All right. But you made a comment that like, oh, he's got me here late tonight or something like that, right? And then I was like, yo, you, you said because you were the one who said to me, you're like, I'm going to have this done by today at like five o'clock or something. You had said that. And I was like, okay, like whatever. I, d- I didn't put those things. That, are, that wasn't a deadline at all. I didn't all. put a time on it. I know what you're saying, though. And then I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> so he's watching football and shit. And then, I'm, and then I'm like, and then you made a comment towards me. And then that's why I said, like, oh, yeah. And you were going to edit, like, what you were going to edit the whole show today. And that didn't happen. And then... You went into that room because I remember I didn't say you needed it done. And I was going to go into the room and be like, yo, you're overreacting. Like, you don't have to like, I, do the whole I show. I remember what happened. You messed up the facts. The facts was how much time of it was done. And you asked me, yo, how much was done? And I was like, 30 minutes. And you were like, yo, 30 minutes? Like, you were here for like four hours. The, yeah, yo, you were, you were. That's what happened. He was on his see, computer. I'll, I'll, see, I'll call it myself. You were on his, he was on his computer for like five hours and he did. F- no, no, no. That's what it was. You're like, I'm going to finish this today. He did. He, 15 minutes was already done. He goes in there and I'm like, how far along are you? After like four hours, 19 minutes. I was like, it was more than that. It was close though. And that's when you were watching football. And that's why I was like, yo, how much of it is done? And you're like 20 minutes. But here's the other thing though. It's like, I wasn't watching football. I wasn't spread eagle. Like, oh, it was going to be a good game. I was saying hello to Pete. No, no, no. You were watching. No, no, no. Uh, hello. Is, hey, Pete, how you doing? You were sitting down on the couch. You were watching the game. And, and also, I did fulfill all my promise. I did. I did finish that day. Yeah, but you spitefully did that like a child. How you did I spitefully do it? literally locked the door so I couldn't get into the office. I was working, man. Yeah, you locked the door because you were like, oh. I, just I, get, a- I get scared sometimes. You no, know? you were being a spiteful little bitch, and you know it. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. All right. That's what he does. Listen, I'll come clean. I'll come clean. So how is that my fault? I'm not saying it's your fault. What I'm saying is, is that in front of company, it's awkward. When you come at me, I never go at you in front of company. You make jokes. You, you make do, jokes too. You do these jokes. Oh my gosh. Listen, on days where you're like, no, because oh, no, no, no. Shoes. <laughs> What's that from again? Oh, cinnamon and gravy. <laughs> the <two> prospector. <laughs> Cinnamon gravy. I ain't going into battle with this stinky old man. Oh, cinnamon gravy. <laughs> oh, cinnamon and gravy. Uh, <laughs> no, but when you when you're in the in in that room for however long, mm-hmm. and you tell me like, "Yo, I'm gonna edit it," and then you do like 17 minutes, mm-hmm. I'm like, "What is that?" Right. And then and that's why I said that. And at no point did I say you had to do more, or did I say that you had to finish it. But, but since you got upset because you knew you were wrong, you had a guilty conscience, you went in there, locked the door, and finished it to be like, here. That's what you did, and that's not my fault. Okay. I'm a good person. I'm not saying that. You're a fantastic man. I'm joking. You're a fantastic man. <laughs> it's just that the people sometimes, I will say may, maybe I've marked, you know, I've marked your image a little bit. I was maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah, a bit. Maybe people think I'm fucking Mussolini over here. No, but what what it is is that, you know, I'm the people's champ. You know that. Yeah, of course. But my thing is it's this. Obvious. My thing is this, is that a part of you hates that. 
No, I don't. I I, I swear to God, All I right. really don't. Because I, really I, I won't do shit like that no, if no, it no, bothers no, no. you. No, no, no. Y'all, I, like, I'm I being, like it. Like, now I'm being like, no, sincere. I, so am I. All right, all right. <laughs> now we're, now we're like, yeah, I was changing. How long, how long is it? 20 yeah, so minutes. Shitting on each other for 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. But sincerely, though. No, no, no. I so love From it. the day that we've met, I've said, yo, if there's ever, you could always tell me. Yo, not even 1%. <laughs> but. But I, I've said that from the beginning. I like that. Right. But there are, you have to admit. This though, will never change. No, 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 no. No, I hate you. But the thing you have to understand is that there are different versions of Joe, though. So it's like, you know that movie with James McAvoy where he plays like nine people? Split. Yeah. That's what dealing with you is like sometimes. Because it's like, sometimes your energy is super high. Sometimes it's low. Yeah. Sometimes you're mad, weirdly quiet. And then like sometimes you're like, like very like, uh, like. Pro, uh, not prolific, but like prophetic. Is that a word? Prophesize? Uh, you got too many like, syllables for me. <laughs> but like prophesize, you're like, yo, this is like what I want to do. And then some days you're like, yo, this is like be leisure. So like, I'm like, where am I going today? Yeah. Like mentally. Like, right. who am I coming to see? <laughs> you know? Yeah. And I can tell what's in the first two minutes who I'm getting. All right. So like. Who'd you get today? High Energy Joe. Nice. And it was actually a mix of like, like uh, Boss Joe, but like Boss Joe is like, a collective right you know it was it was a nice feeling i felt included i felt part of the team today you know yeah that so that's one thing that you that you do yeah so you got to give me a little bit of leeway on that because i'm usually the same most of the time i mean i'm a goddamn fucking idiot but i'm the same way most of the time listen what we just talked about right now and the joke are different things though Oh, yeah, 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 for sure, for yeah. sure. That's why I was saying, speak sincerely. Well, you make jokes to me, I laugh. Right. But when I do the joke back to you, sort of, you lock yourself in a room and edit the whole show to no, spite me. Because here's here's why. It's not to spite you. It's that I've noticed that you can be passive-aggressive sometimes. Uh, but I wasn't being passive-aggressive. See, that's where the, mis-edu- the miseducation, the miscommunication was, is that I thought you were being passive-aggressive. No. So I said... This kid really wants me to do this. I'm going to go fucking do it then. No, nah, dude, if I really, really wanted you to do it, I'd be like, dude, we have to get this done. Of course. Of course. But I would never be like, oh, well, I guess it's not happening. <laughs> Things will get done that way. That's true. Most people don't lock themselves in, in the room and do it. I'm you know just, what I'm saying? All I'm saying is I think since then we've, we've improved. <laughs> In terms of work rate, I think no, we've got, I think we got I've got better. You've done that a couple of times though. What? Spitefully edit. I'll spite fuck you. No, not fuck me. No, no, like no, that, that's what I mean. You'll like, spite fuck the show. I'll spike. Yeah, I'll spite fuck the show. You gonna spike it? Fucking spike it. <laughs> I'll spite fuck the show. <laughs> yeah. But that's just to show that you know us, the little people, we have power. Who is us, the little people? The little people out there. Oh God. You know, not all of us fucking got ivory towers. Who's got an ivory tower? Everything in here is white. Everything in here is white. <coughs> Including you. But you're a good looking white man. Which I'll give you that. Nice. All right. So that's why I keep coming back to you. I can't quit you. Can't quit me. No way. I don't want you to. No way. But I like to prolong the jokes <laughs> with slides like slides. Yeah, I guess they're slides, right? I don't on, know. on Instagram? Slides? Like slides being like, yo, I don't know if I could do this anymore. Yeah, like that shit's hilarious. I love that stuff. See, Someone, one I, of my friends actually know, was like, "You know, I'm joking." Yeah, obviously. All right, I'm here. She's like, but, "Yo, I don't know if I don't know if it's worth it." <laughs> uh, it's literally if anyone takes me seriously, looking out the window of an Uber and then posting something that says, "Yo, honestly, is the fame worth?" <laughs> basically, you being mean to me, the abuse, or something. yeah, yeah. I was like, "Is is the is the fame and the wealth?" worth the abuse fame and wealth and then mad people hit me up they're like yeah it's like it's not worth it yeah just like <laughs> and then i love like when people will be like yo man like yo you're the you are the show don't leave i'm like yeah like like i'm somewhere just being like yeah 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 he's right just so i can scroll and do the thing i'm gonna start my own thing Oh, man. So like the replies are funny. <laughs> the reason, yeah. Someone said that. Yeah, though. but then there's also funny. Rec- like people were calling me a pussy. Like it was funny. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have Dude, some- how would people not know this? I have some p- screenshots. Hold up. Like those are obviously like jokes. One was stop b- being a puss. Don't be a puss. Stop being so dramatic. 
Mm-hmm. Why is Joe so mean to you? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> There's another one. Oh, and this was the other one. Um, I feel bad for the people that sent me really long messages. That's who oh, I want to. No. That, that's who I want to apologize to. Damn, they wrote like long, like inspire, like not inspiring, but like motivating things of like. All right, you want to hear one? This is like a long one. All right, don't say the name. No, 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 no. Uh, just saw your recent post, Danny. Just wanted to say I've been following you since your Vine days and watching and listening to you. You have always been the best. Thank you. I feel the basement yard would not be the same without you. <laughs> Me too. Uh, because of how much effort and work you put into it. <laughs> this kid's fucking turning <laughs> red over here. <laughs> He's his fucking sl- eye, yo, his eyes just goes. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna fucking kill this guy. Oh man! And then he goes, "Would not be the same without you," which I completely agree with, 100. percent I agree then, too. And then keep on making us laugh. And I was like, you know what? That was really nice. Yeah. But it's all in false pretenses. Yes, yeah, sorry, you know? lady. But it was a guy, actually. Oh, sorry, dude. Yeah. But like, and then like everyone was like, "Please don't quit the show." That's so funny, man. That's we, what, we what, should revisit this in a year, though. Like, yeah, yeah, they yeah. quit one day. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. You know what I Let, should... I'm going to say right now? Yeah. I'm going to fake quit this show one day. Oh, yeah. Well, absolutely. And I'm giving everyone a clue right now. If I get one message that, oh, my God, I can't believe you quit the show. What? It's going to be like a feels. Like, oh, it's oh, oh. We're, we're expo- I will quit the yeah. show. Like, people are going to forget about it if we don't talk about it for like a year. But a year from now. That's what I'm saying. I should bring up a story. Yeah, yeah. And then you go, like, yo, what the fuck? But then we can't post that. doesn't make sense. Yeah, well, yes, we will. We'll make a fake one. And it'd be like, it's my show. I posted it. Wait, yeah. wait, what? Why wouldn't you be able to post it? I'm saying if I said, I was, I was saying like, if I told a story that was too personal and then you were like, yo, what the fuck? No, and then you I, I, would, off. I would have to get at you a little bit. So you just be like, nah, like, fuck that. I'm posting it. Look what he said to me. You know? Yeah, that's not. You should do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then why would I give you the files? Oh, we're terrible. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> it started off good. It would have yeah. been a smart play. We had a good idea there. But, but yeah, no, guys, Joe, Joe is nice. <laughs> he's a great, he's a great guy. Let's get, let, you know what? You know what? You know what? Yeah. Let's start over. No, I like being the heel. Yeah, it's true. I love it. You're the people's champ. It's true. But one day, one day, one day, I have to turn heel. Though, at some point, I can't see you being heel. You're no, too cuddly. I'm, I'm like John Cena. I don't think I'll ever like. I'll never turn heel. Yeah, you could try, but it's yeah. just, everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, you look dumb." Don't yeah. Do that. Yeah. You know, I gotta be the mean one. Yeah. Which is fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think when it comes to if we were the same. The show wouldn't work. No, it'd be terrible. It'd be like, yeah, it no, would and, work. And that's exactly why that I like, I have no, like, I, why the fuck would I care about that? You know what I'm saying? The it's, o- it just makes a, a better show. I oh, don't care sure. about who's more likable. The other thing was, is that, no, I saw a comment on YouTube that was like, yo, Danny, stop interrupting Joe when he talks. Ooh. And then I wrote, oh, so you wrote a lot. No, no, no. Oh, I, I didn't oh. write back. I, thought- I, I did a, a long Instagram though story. Oh, and I was like, yo, like, sorry for interrupting. Like, you know, I'm just trying to like be as funny as possible. And I'm sorry. Like, sometimes I get like over whatever. And then I was like, you know what? Then maybe maybe I shouldn't do that anymore. And then the next one is like, maybe I shouldn't just be on the shows at all. That's the one you posted that. And someone I actually know was like, yo, what is Danny talking about? I'm like, why the fuck are you <laughs> texting me? dude? Like, do you think he's serious? I was like, what do you think? Are you serious right now? Joe texted me zero times during that. Yeah. So I knew I knew he got it. He yeah, got like it. I see all these. And I'm just like, this kid's ridiculous. Like, what is this? I posted it on Twitter too with like a whole bunch of roadblock signs. Wait, wh- which one did you post on the Twitter? The one's like, uh, you know, if I'm interrupting so much, like, I don't think I need to be on the shows anymore. <laughs> with roadblock <laughs> signs? Yeah, no. No. Yeah. But that. Uh, can can I segue this into something? <laughs> do you think like how do I say this the right way without turning heel? Without turning heel. Without turning heel. Do you think that people are just like really gullible? Like people as a whole. Uh-huh. Do you think we're too gullible as a species? Like I'm a cynical fuck. Like I'm a skeptical fuck too. Uh I don't know. I don't know if it's like gullible as it is like just 
Like, I don't believe anything anyone says to me. No, not only that, but it's like... But n- not all the time, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that we're in love. Yeah. And we can't we can't breathe without each other. Yeah, you know and also, saying? like, love is like... Love's not easy all the time. It's not, not all the time. No. But, you know, it, it has to be obvious. Of course. So even... <laughs> course of course yeah. you know what i'm saying uh through ups and downs ins and outs peaks and valleys other examples that i can't think of at the very moment love you 3000 what was that oh yeah that's a uh, stranger things i love you man love you too man i didn't think i was gonna get that out of you yeah i know that's why i said it <laughs> <laughs> Because I know you, that was, a, that was a test. Because if I didn't That's say true. it, then you were like, see, I got a crazy motherfucker. Nah, yeah, probably. Yeah. 100%. Um, no, nah, but I don't Yeah, I, just know I was joking. If I'm being I, I completely joking. honest, you know, and this isn't me being a heel. It's just me being just like, you know, just me. If if you honestly thought Danny as a 30-year-old man <laughs> would speak that way, you're dumb. That's all I can really say. And I'm sorry. but And I like I, like, I appreciate you being really nice to him and everything. But man, that is. What am dumb. I a fucking dog? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I appreciate you guys being nice to him. I feel like the, like the kid they let win the wrestling tournament. No, I, and I'm saying I like I feel, I don't want to say that someone who's just being nice is dumb. Right. Like right. I appreciate like your gesture of being like, hey man, yeah, like, me whatever. Too. Yeah. But come on. Yeah. <laughs> come on, man. We talk about dicks and holes and yeah. all kinds of shit. I hear that. I hear that. I you feel know? that. I feel that. On yeah. A, on a spiritual. And way. how many times has Danny said that like I hit him or whatever like. <laughs> This, uh, this is obviously a running thing. The water bottle's true, though. Which one? The spray bottle. Spray bottle. You, sp- you spray me and Frankie sometimes. <laughs> I don't have a spray bottle. Damn it. I'm going to get a fucking spray bottle, though. Yeah, you should. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, I would get a spray bottle if it wasn't a bunch of electronics around here. Listen, I'm Thanks. very, I run very hot. So like, I wouldn't mind getting sprayed every once in a while. I'd act out just to get sprayed. Just to get sprayed. Yeah, just to be a sprayed up boy. Yeah. Yeah. What would you do if I do this? Would that get me sprayed? No, it wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> but I got. <laughs> Where are you going? I got to go get the ads. We got to read. Oh yeah, yeah. So, you know, I fucked up last week. I got to do the right ones this week. Someone's got to pay for the guy's BMW, right? <laughs> <laughs> fight, uh, stand and fight together. Yeah. I love how you like to say that on the day that you're not wearing all six of your chains and bracelets. What? What? Are you on what I'm wearing? Merch. <laughs> Team player. Yeah. All right. Let's get to the sponsors. Yo, but seriously, I love you, man. <clears throat> okay. That's enough of that. See? Told you. There we go. <laughs> Give the people what they want. Heal Joe. All right. By the way, real quick before I read these, I just want to say that I saw a, a gay dude on Twitter tell me that I'm not a twink. Yeah, I saw that. He said I was He said I was a twunk or a jock. I was like, "What the fuck is that?" It's like, "Yo, you better like go have another survey because I'm a twink." You want to know what it is? You're probably fringe twink. I am fringe twink. You're fringe twink. Yeah, I know. I'm not the skinniest twink. Don't do that to yourself. I'm not saying I'm fat. Okay. I'm just saying I'm on the heavier side of twink. Yeah, you, you're like I'm a thicker twin. Like if there was a BMI for like gayness, a body mass index, you'd be like slightly over twink. That's what I'm saying. Right. But I'm still in the zone. Yeah, you're not I'm fat for the safe. earth. Yeah, I'm definitely not a bear. No, and I'm not a twunk. Whatever the fuck that is. I don't even know what a twunk is. Is I that a either. short that's a twink? New, that's a that's a mo- that's a modern gay term. Okay, because that that's not with. old school gay. I'm yeah, more. I'm, I'm very old familiar. school gay. Yeah, I'm old school gay too. Like, I'm very familiar with old school gayness. Yeah, but I don't know this new, like, we got too many words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I was younger, it was breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now we got brunch and shit. Like, I saw somebody call you a jock, too. Isn't that like a high school kid who, like, throws people in lockers? Yeah, like. What does it have to do with gayness? Like, do you show up to, like, gay orgies with, like, a Letterman jacket on? That's like, what I'm saying. Like, what do they yeah. want you to do? Throw a football while you fuck a dude? Yeah, like, why? what is that? I don't know. Is that a jock? Somebody in the gay community like, tells us sex on, like, are? a football field or something? And what's an otter? I don't know what. Uh, what does an otter do in the animal world? Even they're cute as f. Though. They are cute. They're Maybe cu- they're just cute things. I hate when people cute say cute and hairy. Cute and hairy. But I'm not that hairy. Yeah, it's true. Cute af. I hate that. Yeah. Just say as fuck. Yeah. Let me hear it. Oh fuck. 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 
Can I get to the sponsors? For yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I hope they didn't hear that. They'd be upset with me. Oh, God, the show's killing. Uh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first up, let's we go have... through one of the 11 spots on the show here. No, we got four. Everyone I asked, I took a poll. I Everyone like, said bulk, in bulk. Yeah, they want to bulk them up. They don't want to They don't want to break up the conversation. I get that. We move really fast. We don't want to break this up. I understand. Uh, all right, let's start off with Stamps.com. All right, one of our uh, big sponsors on the show, Stamps.com brings all the amazing services of the U.S. Post Office right to your computer. Whether you're a small office sending invoices or you're like me where you're sending merch out to people, you could print uh, labels at any time um, for any class of mail or whatever. 24-7, 2 a.m., you want to send a package? Cool, print your label. There you go. Um, and with Stamps.com, you get $0.05 cents off uh, every first-class stamp and up to 40% off priority mail. What is that? What's the matter? You taking pictures of me? Yeah. Okay. Um, not to mention, it's a fraction of the cost of those expensive uh, expensive postage meters, okay? Cause, so you're saving money. It's a no-brainer. Time and money, people. Uh, 700,000 small businesses already use Stamps.com. You should, too. Um, right now, our listeners can get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long-term commitment. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the ho- uh, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in basement. Uh, that's Stamps.com, and enter basement, people. Um, yeah, if you're sending anything out, definitely go with Stamps.com. Next, we have Blue Apron, okay? Basically, what happens is you pick out some meals on their site. They show up to your door and pre-portioned, like a pre, like they're all pre-portioned <laughs> in a box, yeah, right, um, down to like the salt and pepper, everything you need for it, and they give you a, a recipe and a step by step on how to cook it. It's pretty. It's got color pictures. It's very nice. Mm-hmm. It looks like a children's book for God's sakes, and uh, you can keep these and create your own little cookbook. And they teach you how to cook. It's a nice way to get into cooking if you're interested in that, or if you just want to be healthy and you know, or just like make some stuff at home. Well, the reason I like to use Blue Apron is I've always had problems with portion control, so it's actually good to know the amount that I'm eating now. Right, exactly. Which, so, which is always And you know been exactly a, what it is. You yeah. know the calories or whatever the hell you want to do. Uh, Blue Apron offers three flexible plans, uh, the two-person plan, four-person family plan, and the WW freestyle plan, which sounds kind of like... A wrestling rap. Yeah, you know... <laughs> <laughs> WWE Freestyle. Um, Blue Apron's menu is carefully designed and tested by their uh, test kitchen chefs. Um, They use unique specialty ingredients to bring chef quality recipes to your dinner table. So this is like nice meals. It's not chicken. Oh, yeah. No, no. Their stuff is fantastic. Yeah, it's great. Um, But yeah, they have, what is this? Oh, my God. Chicken chili enchiladas. These look look insanely good. Thai style glazed. Whoa. Yeah, Sicilian cauliflower sh- stromboli. That sounds fantastic. I haven't had a stromboli in so long, too. <sighs> My dad loves that stuff. Dip it in marinara sauce? Be- yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Soak that thing. Um, to start making delicious, bragworthy meals at home without the hassle, try Blue Apron. Uh, you can check out this week's menu and get $60 off when you visit blueapron.com slash basement. Uh, that's blueapron.com slash basement. Uh, $60 off. Okay, people? Blueapron.com slash basement. Next... We have my bookie. Okay, football season's coming up. Got to be making some bets on a weekly basis. Oh, yeah. My betting from last year wasn't great. You? So I'm hoping I can do a little better this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. I mean. You did pretty well. I did pretty well. I did pretty well. I had some bad weeks. Yeah. Last week didn't do great. Right. Last week didn't do great, but the good thing was, is my bookie matched. There you go. My deposit. Exactly. And that's what we're. That's what they offer. Uh, My bookie. The place to make your bets this football season, okay? Um, they have better bonuses and more prop bets, prop bets than any other sports book. Period. Love prop bets. Um, and they're actually hosting a, a super contest that costs a hundred dollars to enter, and first place is guaranteed guaranteed to win uh, at least a hundred thousand dollars. So you could be making some serious cash. I'm in it. Yeah, be in it to win it folks if i um, if i win it will you split it if you win it will you split it with me no what do you mean if i win it i'll give you some because i'm a nice guy that's okay what, that's what the people's champ does that's what the people's champ does yeah the people's champ would just start dming people and handing out like random bits of yeah. money if i win i'll help people out there you go um but yeah with my bookie up to a thousand dollars first deposit bonus they will double your first deposit so if you put a hundred dollars in 
then you'll have two hundred dollars to play with. They will match your hundred up to a thousand. Um, you can use the promo code Basement to activate the offer. Um, visit my bookie online today. That's M Y B O O K I E, and don't forget to use the promo code Basement uh, to get that um, first deposit bonus activated. Okay. Uh, let me know if you guys are winning or losing out there. All right. And lastly, we have Stitch Fix, which has reimagined the way we find and buy clothes. It's basically like having a personal stylist uh, that springs into action for you. They hand select five brand new clothing items just for you. Um, but first, before that, you have to answer some basic questions about your sizes, your favorite styles, colors, or, you know, whatever, your budget. Um, and you can do that right from your phone or your laptop or whatever. Um, but yeah, the personal stylist will pick out some stuff. Uh, they have a styling fee that's only $20, um, but it's waived if you keep all five items that's in your box. Um, and since your personal stylist uses only your preferences to pick out your clothes, you're still in like complete control of, uh, you know, what's being sent to you. Um, so it's really cool because, you know, it's, it's honestly cool just to have like, uh, like every month you're getting some new clothing. No, That's a you're great, not wearing all the same stuff. It's a great feeling. It's a great feeling. Um, but yeah, hurry to stitchfix.com slash basement to get started now. Keep all five items in your bo box and you'll get 25% off your entire purchase. That is stitchfix.com slash basement. Stitchfix spelled S-T-I-T-C-H-F-I-X dot com slash basement. Boom. Kill those ads. Bro. And we are done. And we are done. Not uh, not the show, not us as a unit. Yeah. No, no, no. Don't no, take that. Don't dating. take that. Don't don't take that around. With it. Yeah. So, yo, actually, I didn't even think about this, but what I have today is perfect for uh, the argument we had earlier. Uh, oh, uh, okay. What? I wouldn't call it an argument. Well, whatever it was, it was a conversation. I mean, f some feelings were hurt. You said some things. I said some things. Yeah. But you the, know. But the important part is we're still here. Yeah, it's a cohesive unit. <laughs> I googled. Uh, this because I thought it would be funny to do. Okay. But it's like, but it also is like, it's dumb I, wait, because it's I don't not have to like read or anything. Do I? No, you don't. All right. Good. Don't worry about it. Um, but it's a test to see if you're, in, oh. if you're in love. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's weird because the reason why I Googled it, because me and Greg on other people's lives, we did an episode where there was a list of questions that some scientist or whatever came up with and they're questions that you can ask someone on a date or whatever, like a, a person and you find out so much about them. That yeah, it's didn't like, you like cry? Huh? D like, didn't you like cry? No, no, no. I didn't cry, but everyone who I've done it to cried. Oh, that's what you told me. Yeah. 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 Like I bet you cry for sure. You'd cry. Yeah. I mean, I cry if you just looked at me the wrong way. <laughs> no, but, uh, so we, we did it. Me and Greg did it on the show. And it, it pulls like deep answers out of you. Cause like they do a good job of uh, like warming you up to it. They'll ask e easy questions, but they'll get you thinking back. Okay. They'll butter that butt. You start yeah. thinking about memories and shit. So, so they'll ask a question about, you know, in fifth grade, like what was your favorite game in gym? Like, you know what I mean? Like things you haven't thought about in so long that you're like, okay, let me go back and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. just to like exercise your mind. And then by the end of it, it's just like, it's just like wild. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's. I don't think I can handle it. It, it. it. One of the questions, just to give you an idea, that's sort of like a little past the halfway point is like, which one of your family members, uh, would have like which one of your family members dying would have the biggest effect on you and why? So it's like that question, after you just answered all these deep ones, like your answer is going to be like way better than if I asked you right now for no reason. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it just, it, it makes it. I mean, I'm so thinking emotional. about it now. It's making me sad. And that's what I'm that. saying, yeah. you know? And then once you get to the end of it, and then it asks about like your happiness and all these things. So I was looking for that, but it's I didn't find a, it. Doctor's a sick freak. Yeah, it's, he's a sick bastard. But it's actually a really cool exercise. I need to find it. If you wanted, I was definitely not going to ask you on, on this on the show because it's like. I would do it. I don't care. It's pretty serious. I don't want it to be super serious. Yeah, but anyway, sure. I was looking for it and I found this other one okay. and it's so bad. Okay. It's literally like a second grade version of it. Oh, it's great. It's just a, it's right. That's right on like my intellectual wheelhouse. Yeah, this is right where you peaked. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but this is uh killed it in second grade. This is like a second grade love test. Basically. All right, I'm ready. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. But they're just incomplete sentences. I don't know how this even like comes close to compared right, to the other one. We'll figure it out. All right. So I have 20 sentences, I think. Yeah, 20. I love hard. Like, I'm a hard lover. So. Oh, I was like, wait, wait. <laughs> what, like, what are you talking about? Did you forget a word at that time? No, but I'm a, I'm a big lover. So yeah. we're going to see how this goes. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to say the sentence and then, you know, the blank is where we answer. Okay. Uh, the first do you want to do the same time or you go first? I go first. Oh, do you want to do like we passed the phone? That, that's what I'm saying. So it's like you get a little bit of element of surprise from the question yourself. All right. No, just, you know what? Do them all. And I'll answer first all, all, every time. No, nah, I think we could go back and forth. You want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Okay. You're going to answer though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'll answer one. You'll answer two. Okay. Like that. I stare into the distance when I think of blank. See which version of Joe is going to come and answer the this question. The future? Yeah. When I'm thinking about, like, what you want to do with your life or something, or thinking of something, you kind of. Or sometimes I just zone out for no reason. You ever do that? Yeah. Uh, yes. And you're just, like, just staring, and everyone's just looking at you, and you're like, I'm sorry, I was somewhere else. What is that? Because I'm not really thinking about anything. It's just your, your, your tension span is just somewhere else trash like it's literally people have spoken full sentences to me i don't hear a word one word yeah and it would happen to me all the time yeah like even in like football games like the coach would like say something to me i wouldn't hear any of it she's like i'm looking at you but i can't hear you yeah i'm like <laughs> i'm like seeing if my dad's there like you know like i wasn't like you know yeah all yeah, over yeah. The place. all right your question i feel that i can count on joe wow He's trying to beat you. He's really playing up the people's champ today. No, no, that's true though. I can't count on you. You haven't given me a reason to prove not to. That did. You got to work. Sense. You got to work on that sense. <laughs> Se- second grade, baby. Yeah. Second grade. Uh oh. What did I do? No. Oh, oh, oh! You took it. You, it's There's a picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, three. I get shaky knees when I am near blank. Uh. Shaky knees. See what I'm saying? How this makes no sense for like a, if you're in love with someone thing. It's like, uh, Michelle. I mean, I still get like butterflies around my fiance. Butterflies and shaky knees are different things. But, I, but I'm not going to be like, oh, like <laughs> shake, shaky knees now. Like I'm, I'm worried. I'm going to the doctor. Yeah. Let like, me start shaking now. Like maybe if I'm next to an open fridge. Yeah. But like if I like if I haven't seen. Alana for like a while She comes home I'll get like butterflies Because I'm happy to see her Damn she's gonna love that Yeah She's gonna love that <coughs> uh, I am prepared to share My possessions with Joe No my, 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 <laughs> my, Honestly I'll be really honest with you I don't like you don't, you don't I don't, don't like share possessions. sharing possessions But like I will So like What I mean by possessions Is like Alana wears a lot of my clothes To bet Look at how disgusted You look by that No but it's like <laughs> Like, she, but like, she won't grab like my shittiest underwear. She'll grab my most expensive underwear and wear, and wear it to bed. Yeah, you know, it's like I had plans for those Calvins. Yeah, yeah. You know, I had plans for these Tommy Hill figures. <laughs> I had plans for these. Yeah, yeah. My most comfortable shirts, she'll wear them. Yeah. I'm like, not that one. That's the one that fits my hips the right way. Right. You know, that's one of the extra long shirts that makes my belly look short, smaller mm-hmm. from H and M. I need that. Yeah. But you got it on. But if you wear it to bed, it's not dirty. Beds are gross. No, nah, they are. I don't know if you've done any research. No. I, there's some gross beds out there. Of course. But I but I don't think that like... And also, Eli's in the bed. So his fucking hair. Everywhere. Oh, I forget your dog. Yeah, he sheds. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid asshole. Yeah. It sucks. Not you, the dog. There you go. Yeah. I would feel lonely without blank. Uh, friends and family, you know, I actually, this is a sick thought that I had this morning, uh, when I was walking. Cause then now I, yeah, it's disgusting, but I, I literally was, um, I was up, it was like seven o'clock in the morning. And at that time it's very quiet, but it's like, and the sun, uh, it was like a little, it was like maybe a little earlier, but the, the sun is the, coming out and it's just like a very, like whatever peaceful time in the morning. I, I'm obsessed with that time and I'm walking down the block to my mom's house 
And I don't know why the thought got into my head, but it literally was just this morbid of like, if all of my friends and family weren't around, I would, I, I wouldn't be able to like, Live. I would cease to it like exist. Yeah I, yeah. I would like lose it. Yeah. Like I'm so reliant. I'm so dependent. Like as, for a person who considers himself super independent, it's kind of fun for me to realize how dependent I am. Oh yeah. On that, you know, I mean, we're all so, t- so tethered, you know what I mean? When it comes to like our friends and family, like even when you leave like your, your mom's house, you're, she's thinking about you. You're thinking about her. So it's like you're constantly connected. So that's why, like, if that connection were to be gone, it, it would just, it would destroy you. Yeah, I don't know why, but I was like, I was having a, like, yeah, you know, I was like listening to music and shit. I was like having a good time. I've had, and fam- I'm like, oh god, if this, <laughs> if this didn't happen, I've had that thought so many times. Like thoughts, like, yeah, like what would I do if like my entire family just like burnt down? Why do we do that? We're just like sick I don't, fucking people. No, that's that's a normal thought. That's like, as, yeah, but like, that's as normal as normal gets. Why am I? I've ha- thought about like. Yo, like, what would I do if my whole house burned down and I was the only one to survive? Like, why am I thinking about that? Yeah, you know? And then I'm just like, you know what? People probably ask themselves this question all all the time. Maybe. Yeah. I just, don't think any thought I've had is like an original one. Yes and no. Because you could like put variables in there to like make it like kind of your own. But I understand what you're saying. Yeah, like, like I feel like, like if I've thought it, then people have had to think it. That's what I'm saying. Especially that shit you're with the not stoplight. The first. And when people are like, yo, I do that, I'm like, yo, I am not alone in this universe. See, that's one of the best things about having a platform, a big platform. You yeah, find we're, out we're that- We're a big show. <laughs> we're a big deal. Um, you find out that you're not as fucking nuts as you thought you were. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's kind of funny. Nobody nobody said yes about the wiping the butt on the floor, though. I, I, I was solely out on that one. Yeah, that's just you, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe if you ask your dog that or something, yeah. they do that when they have itchy anuses. My feelings for blank reduce my appetite. My feelings for blank reduce my appetite. The fuck? How is this a love question? I'm just gonna use something else. Yeah, go crazy with it. Um, when I get anxious, I can't eat. Very real answer. Yeah. <laughs> like when I get like super anxious, like I, I'm not even thinking about food. I'm thinking about like survival. <laughs> it fucking sucks. Um, okay. My thoughts about blank make it, make it difficult for me to concentrate on something else. A lot of things. I can't multitask at all. No, you're horrible. Like, if I'm texting, I can't hear you. You can multitask if it's on one device. Like, you could do a whole bunch of stuff on one device. But if it's outside of that, you're toast. I can't. I can't. No. Yo, literally the other day, I had this idea for, like, a game. Yeah. And I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ran it by you. I was running it by a ton of people that morning. And then I drove to the gym. And I I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I didn't go to the gym. Like, I was like, I need to go home and work on this. Like, I can't. And it was just like a fun thing that most likely will never be a thing that I do or try to pursue. Yeah. But I, it was an idea that I got in my head and I got so obsessive over it. And I was so like jittery over it that I was like, yo, I'm fucking, I got to leave. Yeah. And I, I got to go home. So I drove all like all the, like all the way to the gym, but I drove to the gym and I was right outside and I was about to go in. And I was like, I can't, I got to go home and, and like write this out. Yeah. So like, I can't multitask at all. If I'm at the gym, and something's on my mind, like I can't work out. It sucks. But yeah, it's hard. It's all right. I'm so trying. like when like uh, what is it? What would that be? I guess a distraction. What? I'm trying to think of the word. What I am? Yeah. No, I just you know, I can't multitask. Hit me. Uh, blank is the one for me. I mean, it's obvious, but I'm gonna say um, the Cheesecake Factory. You know, I've never been to Cheesecake Factory. You've never been to the Cheesecake Factory. That's no. crazy. Is it good? I feel like it's like Olive Garden. All right. I'm going to say this. It's not going to knock your socks off, but no. you're going to be very pleased. Really? Yes. Is there like good cheesecake? Yeah. Is there like machinery, like a factory? No. Yeah. Uh, it's all very, very fresh. I'm not saying their guys are back there fucking churning their own butter and shit, right, but right. it's very fucking good. Okay. 
And they're, the only thing I hate about Cheesecake Factory is that their menu is like 78 pages long. Really? Yeah. So is it like Applebee's? It's like Applebee's just a notch above luxury-wise. But same food style? Same food style. Yeah, I don't know. I hate Applebee's. One time I went to Applebee's because it was like... Yeah, I don't really like it either. I, I think it was Keith who was like, yo, on like Wednesdays you get margaritas for like a dollar. Well, so that makes sense. So we were like, all right, cool. Yeah. Like we're going to go and just like drink margaritas. We get there. It was like me and my siblings. We get there. And we're like, yeah, can we do like the dollar margaritas? And the waiter goes, you don't want the margaritas. And I was like, I don't want to even want to be here after that. Yeah. Like, what is that? That's got to be a that's tough That's what he go. said. He goes, you don't want the margaritas. And how can you fuck up a margarita? It's like sugar and rum. You could fuck up a margarita. I mean, you could, but like, how could you make it gross? Yeah. I, I, you'll like cheesecake way more than you like Applebee's. I don't even know if there's a cheesecake around here. Uh, Yeah, there is. Where me and Frankie went to JCPenney to take the pictures. We had Cheesecake Factory for lunch that day. And Queen... And- uh, oh my god, these got they got these things called Buffalo Blast. Buffalo Blasts? Oh yo, they're so fucking good, dude. What is that? Like a They're basically like buffalo chicken nuggets that are fantastic. Yeah? Yeah. Interesting. We'll pop your uh, cheesecake cherry. No pun intended. Is okay. it cherry cheesecake? Yeah. Um I am afraid that I will say something wrong when I talk to blank. Transgenders. That's my real answer. I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm it's, not trying I to get, laugh because you said it so serious. Because I'm so serious. Because I, like I get nervous because with the pronouns or just anyone like the, I, I'll be. I'm not even trying to sound like an asshole right now. Non-binary. All the I don't know what any of it means. That heel turn's looking good right yeah, now. Yeah, it is. It's really. It's, <laughs> uh, this is not like this is not a good. This is not my shining moment right now. But I really. I really get nervous because I don't like I don't want to say the wrong right. thing. I'm down with all of it too. Like, do your thing. Like, I, you know, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Like, he lets me be myself. So. Yeah, exactly. Like, I yeah. like I'm not one of those people. It's like, and I'm not saying, you know, like there's people who are like, no, it's cool, do whatever you want, but just stay away from me. Like, I'm not even like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm that, like yeah, I don't that, give a fuck. That ideology makes no sense. I, yo, I love that. It should be like, yo, like listen, like I don't care what they do. These are cool. Just get away from me. Just don't fucking touch me. I'm like, dude. Yeah. First half of that sentence was great. Yo, there's a fantastic bit. Second that, half, a little ugly. There's a fantastic bit that Mark Norman does. Okay. Uh, go follow him on Instagram, guys. He's a, a comedian. Uh, yeah, he's hilarious. On Instagram, it's Mark Norman. Um, but he has this joke where he's like, uh, he said something like, "Oh, I got a friend. I don't want to butcher it, but you can find it on his page." Where I'm just gonna paraphrase. I'm sorry for doing a terrible job, but uh, he he said he ma- ba- basically makes a joke of like he has a friend. Who is like, oh, dude, I wouldn't even shake a gay guy's hand. And he's like, why? He's like, because you know how many like, dicks he's touched? He goes, you know who else has touched dicks? Women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like, oh, I don't want to touch guys. We're like kissing dudes. Yeah, it's like, true. yeah, so does every girl that you fucking. Yeah. You know what I mean? You get more dick residue from women than you do from, from gay dudes. Yeah. And your own. Actually, your- that's probably not true. They fuck like crazy. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gay dudes are. Gay dudes have so much sex. Yeah, they party hard. It's crazy. They do. They do fucking. They do a ton of fucking. But yeah, I mean, honestly, being afraid while talking to transgenders, it, like I just don't want to. You say don't want to upset thing. someone. Yeah, because there's there's like the he, the she. Because yo, oh my god, I went back and I watched. Like I, tr- <laughs> I went. I made a video about Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. Right when it first happened, and I fucked that whole thing up. Because, like, my heart was in the right place at the time, you know? Where I was basically saying, like, people were being so dumb on the internet. And be like, oh, this is a publicity stunt and, like, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Or, like, or they just had a problem with whatever. And I was saying, like, it's not a big deal, you know, whatever. Like, you don't have to blah, 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 blah. Like, I was on her side. But She also killed someone, like, the week before, but it's whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, but. Well, it was I, Bruce, technically, that killed killed the people. Yeah. I fucked up pronouns the entire video. Uh, she, he, yeah. I, I, the whole time it was like mixed up. So like that kind of thing I know bothers people and I don't want to do that. So I get nervous because I don't know. Cause some people go by they or them and I don't, Yeah. but no, I don't know I, what even non-binary means. I, I understand where you're coming so from. So I get nervous. Yeah. 
I get scared. Yeah, because one little mistake could turn into like, now I'm on YouTube now. People trying to say that, you know, I said the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm but like, Dave Chappelle's bit's the best about it. Which one? Um, When he's tell it's it was on one of his last specials when he's talking about being in the club and like, it's like a transgender uh, woman falls down and like her penis comes out. Yeah. And he's like, yo, like, you okay, man? Like, uh, like, do you need a hand up? And he's like, it's it's her. And he's like, oh, all right, sorry, man. He's like, uh, well, just do me a favor and let her know her dick's hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, it, it's tough. I can see where it's tough. Yeah, it's. I, I just, I just don't want to say the wrong thing because I feel bad. But, you know, I'm about it. Do there's, your thing. There's hope for you yet. What do you mean? Uh. What are we up to? We're halfway then. Uh, halfway there. Halfway, halfway then. then. I stare. Oh, you, we did this one already. Or t- I don't know. I hope my feelings for blank will never end. Oh, wait. No, I ask. Just answer it. All right. What was it? And then just ask me two in a row. I hope my feelings for blank will never end. My family. Nice. I thought you were going to say, like, my, like, uh, drive. Well, I guess that kind of goes hand in hand because you get Yeah, a, they're, motiv- they're a motivating factor. Sometimes I think about it where I'm like, what is the ultimate fuel in the fire? And I think it is them. Yeah, of course. Because if, you didn't, like, like, if you didn't have a family, you, you wouldn't really want to share this If stuff they were, like, super rich and, like, totally fine, not that they're struggling. Right. But I would love to just be like, yo, none of you guys have to work ever again, you yeah. know? And none of them would even want that, you know? Like, right. I, I, that's a stupid dream in my head. But, like, none of them would be like, yeah, sure, just pay. They'd be like, dude, I don't fucking need you to do that, yeah. you know? Um, but I, I think it's, it's that, just to make sure, like, everyone's cool. Or that if your house burned down, it's cool. Don't worry. I have $10 billion. Yeah. Boom, another house. Can I ask you a serious question? Yeah. It's pretty serious. Okay. When's the last time you and Keith said you loved each other? I don't know. I don't know. You're both not big love guys. He's not. When, do you think if you said, yo, like, if you hug Keith right now. He would... And squirm out of it. No, no, no. Like, like a dog. Like, cause like, I was thinking about it cause, uh, we were looking at fa- old Facebook pictures in there. Yeah. And there was a picture from your brother's wedding, I think. Okay. And I was like, oh man, Keith looks really nice or whatever. I was like, if anyone's going to say, I love you, it's going to be that type of day. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's getting married. You're hugging it out. You, you love everybody, you know? Yeah. What would Keith do if you just went out, put your arm around and be like, man, I love you, man. What do you think he would say? He would be like he wouldn't say I love you. Really? Yeah. I know he does. Of course he does. But he would just be like, he'd be like, all right. He's like he's born in the wrong era. Like your brother would have did really well, like in the sixties, where everyone just suppressed all their feelings, <laughs> and like no one loved anybody. Probably. <laughs> like he, I like he 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 loves you, but he doesn't need to tell you. No, nah, he's just, nah, he's yeah. not doing that. Um, See me and my, me and my brothers were just all big dorks and big lovers. Oh yeah, yeah. cry babies and fucking lovers. I mean, we cry I, all the time. Yeah, uh, I get clammy hands when I am near Joe Santagato. <laughs> <laughs> that's I mean, that's fucking true. Though. I never feel you clammy. No, nah, it... you don't get clammy around me, you bitch. No. Nah. <laughs> I'm getting clammy now. You see this? No, I, I think I get clammy hands around family functions. Like when it's like a lot of people and like, yeah. I feel like I got to be on, you know? Yeah. I and I, like and that... it's unnecessary pressure I put on myself. Yeah. But like, I feel like I got to be on. I got to be a, a, a source of entertainment here. Yeah. You I, know? Get, I get clammy when, when I'm in a place and then a lot of people recognize me, then I feel nervous. Yeah. And I get really fucking weird. Yeah. I don't like when that happens. And I, I like, I always try to like work on that because like, whatever that happens sometimes I don't want, but then it makes me like this, like introvert. Cause I'm afraid. I don't know what I'm like weirded out by. Yeah. That's another weird friggin' trait you have. That you, you can become like an introvert sometimes. Yeah. When I feel like, I don't know. I, I, I love being like, Outgoing, but it's like, like in your whatever. comfort zone. It's like no, no, no. I know, can be if out. you're just with your boys, 
you're going to be like go out going. Yeah. But like if a, a couple people recognize you, you might feel a little uncomfortable. It's okay to feel uncomfortable. It's not uncomfortable. It's just now I feel uh, that just makes me, I don't know. That turns me into an introvert sometimes. Yeah. You get anxious. It's not all the time. I know. I don't even get anxious. I just get like, Oh no. I, like, I don't know. Sounds anxious to me. Like tense. No. Guys, don't say hello to Joe in public. I swear See, to God. And that's what I don't want. <laughs> And that's even worse, honestly. If I if I walk into a, somewhere, right, and because yo, with anybody that has any sort of following, and I I've learned this over the years, yo, I can see everybody. Yeah. In if this you're bar. if you're staring at me, I know. I know you know who I am. Yes, I know every single time. And I've gone up to people and been like, "What's up, guys?" Because that 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 will make me clammy as shit yeah because that makes me even more nervous that's why because then i'm like yo they're plotting on me like they're gonna fuck me up or something that's shit. why i could never i could never be like one of the most famous people in the world oh i would hate my life I, I would lose it yeah i would lose it i would rather people come up to me and then like be like yo what's up blah yeah. blah, blah and like cool that's like when people like ask me like um like i'd rather be like a like a writer than like an artist like the artist like, I'd rather be the guy that just hides in the background and collects the fucking check. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. It's it's a it's a weird, like, thing. Yeah. Like, you want to be respected and you want to feel, like, loved by people, but then you also just don't want to feel, like, weird or watched of or course. whatever, you know? Yeah. I honestly don't really feel like that too often, but... Well, it gets in, a little awkward sometimes if someone be like, yo, titties! And I'm just like, all right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I only get awkward... Like, if this I'm is a Starbucks, sir. If I'm in a loud bar... And it doesn't matter how many people do it, but if they come up to me and they know who I am, like, I don't, like, I don't care. Not that yeah. I don't care that they, like, I don't, like, it doesn't make me an introvert, but if I'm in a, a quiet place and someone says something and then I could see everyone else being like, who the fuck is this? That makes me so weird. That I get. That makes me feel like I need to get out yeah. of here, dude, yeah, you yeah. know? Because then when people start looking at me and they're like, who are you? I'm like, yeah. I'm, I don't know. I'm no one. Also, somebody came up to me and was like, hey, Danny, where can they find you? I was like, dude, they're going to find you in the trash in a second. <laughs> I was like, why don't you just say hello to me? Where can they find you? Like, it was cool, but I was just like, yo. It's kind of funny. I was like, yo. I'm like, say hi first. Yeah. And then in my head, I was just like, ha ah, right? And like, I just kept walking my dog. That's that's weird. Yeah. Uh, I feel emotionally connected to? My dog. Well, yeah. My dog. I'll be honest with you, because here's the thing. What I'm going through right now is a very stressful period of my life. Uh huh. You know, weddings getting planned. You know, picking a picking a venue. And my fiance has done like ninety percent of the fucking grunt work, and just the ten percent is stressing me the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Sounds like uh, me and her have something in common. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but if I didn't have my dog there. To yeah. get me through, like, I'm like, you know what? At least I know this thing just loves me unconditionally. Right. And there's no, there's no strings attached in terms of like, oh, we got to set a date and do this. He's like, dude, I just want to hang out. I compare it to, uh, now stay with me here. Yeah. I compare dogs to like lamps because. Okay. Like when it gets dark, it would just be dark. Yeah. And you would just have to wait. Until the sun comes out for it to be light again. Yes. But with the dog, it's like having a lamp because they're always just like showing you love. And yes. like they're always just like on and like ready to be like to do whatever you want. You know, like they're it's just it's great. You know, it's a weird thing to me, too. When Damn, you talk I fucking murdered that dog. Yeah, that was good. Dogs are lamps, dude. You said murdered that dog and then I got scared. Damn, no, I didn't kill. I meant the, <laughs> the I didn't. The analogy. Right. Nailed I don't want to think. I don't want anyone to. They're lamps. Yeah, they're lamps. Dogs are lamps. I hate when you ask people like, hey, do you have a dog? And they're like, yeah, it sucks. I'm like, oh. I'm like, you suck. I'm like, wait a second. Maybe you suck. Anyone who doesn't like their dog, I'm not their fucking friend. No. Like I sent, did My you, dog is, oh. How many Vet Ranch videos did you watch? A whole bunch. Yo, I love Vet Ranch. I can watch dogs get a bath for hours. Yeah, there's this guy on YouTube. It's called Vet Ranch. He basically finds the most fucked up dogs on planet Earth. I'm talking mange. I'm talking they got fucking holes in them. They're all fucked up. 
dogs with holes? Yeah, dude. Swiss cheese And dogs. I remember I texted you. I said, this guy is basically like the exhibit of fucking vets. He gets these fucking fucked up dogs and turns them into like amazing pimp rides. They're like brand new dogs. It's fire. Yeah, he puts like a fish tank in them. It's great. <laughs> but like, you know, like, I can't say how people can hate like their own pet. They're miserable bastards, too. They'd be like, yeah, I have a cat. She's a fucking cunt. I'm just like, okay. I don't believe, though. Cats are a little pissy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I become tense when I am close to the subway. What? I get tense on the subway. I don't like the subway. I don't like public transportation. I feel like I'm locked in an iron cast that can just explode or be crushed or get stuck at any moment. And I'd rather be in a car. All righty <laughs> then. You never been afraid of trains? No. Never? Metro North, which is like our ra- like our railroad perfectly fine on that really because those aren't aren't they faster oh no they're not no 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 no. those Uh, derail though yeah 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 like i I can't remember the last time the subway derailed the thing is is just being able to see the outside okay makes me comfortable right when i'm just in a tunnel that has this much space in between the fucking train and the wall makes you nervous makes me nervous it does it does nervous purpose yeah but i should i should try to ride the subway more i should get better at that I have a hard time sleeping because I am thinking of. <sighs> this one's my future and my health. Which yeah. is like, it's I think like that's they keep everybody up. Yeah, it's just kind of like, you know, it's just stuff that I could do better. And it's like, when I lay down, I don't lay down and go to sleep. I think about like everything I did that entire day. Yeah, you kind of go through and like yeah, and, and then there's like a couple things that are like, uh, I shouldn't have done that, or oh, this was really good, or I should have did this or that. So then like I start evaluating like my entire life in in the span of two hours. Yeah, I I do that, and then when I can't sleep, like I, I literally just did this like four days ago. Yeah, like I I have times where. Cause yo, I, I go back and forth with it. Like you said, there's like different versions of me. Like there's the version of me that's like. I want to enjoy my life and not just like worry about everything or worry about like, Oh, this has to be, this has to be in line with the future that I want to build or whatever. Sometimes I just want to fucking just have fun and just like go crazy. You know what I'm saying? And that's why that like I was, I was going to, I had a very regimented, uh, gym. I was going to the gym every single day, Yeah. you know? And I had like, my mornings were kind of all the same for a long time. And, uh, you know, I got into good shape. I was running every day and then, I was just kind of, and then at some point, like, I was just like, yo, you know what? Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to eat clean and I'm just going to eat, I'm just going to eat this thing. Right. Or like, whatever I'll drink today or like, you know, whatever. But then after a while of being in that fucking routine and like not going to the gym right. on a, like, you know, everyday basis, eventually that just makes me like really upset. Do you think you drank too much? Uh, I don't think I drank to, I mean, I'm talking, I'm talking calorically, not like get wasted. Probably. You know why? Because that's the thing. Like there are times where I'm like, I didn't need to drink that day. Right. You know, like I didn't, you know, whatever. Like if we, if I go out and just cause everyone's drinking, like I don't need to drink this day. Right. Um, which is what I'm doing now. Cause like now I want to turn the whole thing around and that's why I'm like, you know, t- and today we went over like how to regiment everything. Yeah. And, like, I mean, that was fucking necessary anyway, but <laughs> yeah, we've been running a fucking chicken with their head cut off fucking kind of operation operation here. over here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think about that all the time. So I'm in, when I'm in bed, cause I'm, I like to think I'm always very realistic with myself and being like, you know, you're doing a good job or you're doing a bad job or you could be doing better. And like, things are great right now. Just keep it up or like, you know, whatever. Yeah. It's never like you did it because that can't be it. You know, it always has to, it always could get better. It could always like whatever, but also maintaining if you're doing extremely well is another fight in itself. Yeah. So it's every day you have to like kind of grade yourself and be realistic. Like, oh, uh, you know, when people are like, well, you know, uh, I had a diet Coke. So, so it's like, dude, come on, you drink this whole dude. Yeah, Just drink yeah. fucking water. Right. You know? Yeah. So you, there's no cutting corners when it comes to that shit. So I recently just did that. And, um, 
now I'm kind of getting back into the regimented cleansing, cleansing thing. out a little bit. Yeah, there's like little things that you do that sleep's a huge one. Yeah, sleep's sleep's a big one, but it's also just like you know, waking up at an early time. I love it. What it's what, it's so hard. What is that? What does that mean? Yeah. It's so hard, but it's the best time of day, in my opinion, because it's so relaxing. It's like walking around in a yoga class or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I was talking about your buddy, Danny. He wakes up at four yeah. and his job's over at 12. Right. He still has 12 hours in the day. Right. That's unbelievable. Think about what you could accomplish from four to 12 if you really tried to accomplish it. And then you still have 12 hours. Well, he also sleeps right. at some point. Eight hours, let's say. You yeah. still have another four hours to like, you know, the only thing that sucks about that is like, you're going to bed at like five o'clock at night. No, I mean, I don't know. But it's, I don't know, man. For me, like there's little things like now I refuse to drive to the gym unless it's raining. If it's, if it's not raining, I have to walk because you miss out on certain things when you, when you don't walk. What do you mean? You mean like, cardio base or like just no. like human interaction yeah. just life all right just that life. i get that i get like yo you, if if i drive to work every day and i don't walk yeah i don't feel the sun right i don't feel the wind i don't see birds i know this sounds dramatic Damn, but this is deep, true it's deep joe but it's, it, it's true though like if if you're if i'm no, all, if i'm leaving you. my apartment and getting into the car like i don't even feel you don't even feel the sun you don't feel the wind you don't see you know, people, you don't walk by anyone. You don't see a dog walking by you. Right. You don't like whatever, or, you know what I mean? It's like, like Futurama little shit. where they would take those tubes right to where they needed to get to like, yeah. Their and I feel like that stuff is important. Yeah. And I, I would hate to be a person that goes from here, gets in a car, gets to my place, gets back in a building, gets back in a car, gets back to my place. Right. And it's like, I spent no time outside a station, station, this stationary life. Yeah. Station and I, to station. And I think things like that are important. Now, am I going to stick to that fucking rule forever? Probably not. I'm human, and it, I go back and forth to shit all the time. But do it's just think, something that's fresh in my mind right now. Do you think you'll ever take a subway again? Yeah. When was the last time so. you were on a subway? Um, A while ago. Maybe a few months ago. I don't think I've been on a subway in two years. Wow. That's crazy. A ye- no, no, no. A year and a half. See, in the subway is another one of those things. Now, it's not as enjoyable as walking it's from here. It's terrible. To People are always like, yo, why don't you take... Because I don't want to. It's a horrible experience. It is. It's not great. No, it's there's dirty. nothing poetic. There's nothing no. beautiful about it. I don't care what you say. If I have the finances to take a car to work, I'm going to do it. Right. But, I and, and like I said, it's not as, like, It's nice, awful. But It's horrible. A lot of great stories come from taking that yes. shit. Yes, they do. Like when I had to take the subway to work when I worked at Elite, like every day there was something. Yeah. And there was just like, you know, because you could come up with material with that or you could oh, yeah, just make yeah, you yeah. think of shit. And it's just, it's really funny. So it's like in that aspect, there's that, but like it's not, it's not great. It's awful. You know, and it's not cheap enough for me to be like, Oh, I'm going to do this. Every right. Day. And also the other thing too, is like, you'll be in rush hour on a fucking subway and you're ass to ass or dick to butt. Yeah. I don't want to rub my dick on this guy's ass. Or get his dick rubbed on my ass. Yeah. I mean, I prefer that, but you know what I'm saying? It's just one of those things. Like dick on dick. Wait, no. What would I prefer? Dick on dick. I'd rather prefer. I prefer dick on his ass. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I don't want his dick on my ass. No, I don't want to feel. I like don't want to go dick to dick either. Dick to dick is too awkward. That's intimate as shit. Yeah, we're we're basically kissing at that point. Yeah, yeah. You got really cross eyed for a second. Yeah, yeah, I looked right at this. Yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I I I see what you're saying though about just like human interaction, just getting out there. Well, the things you won't you, that you that I, you people might overlook as like I'm just gonna get there or I'm gonna like whatever yeah. like. I like to think about those things and yeah. I like to think they matter. I think the little things matter a lot. Like I think the fact that just walking to the gym keeps me off of my phone as well. That too. That you know, too. because if I'm in the car, you know, there's electronics there that I'm, uh, you know, the, the fucking radio or the navig, not the navigation. I mean, it's fucking, you know, whatever it is, 10 blocks, but, uh, you know, shit like that. Like, but when I walk, I'm just walking, you know, how, I'm listening to music. I'm yeah. walking. How are you doing with the phone in bed? My phone in bed? Yeah. 
not great. I'm I'm so bad with that. Yeah. That I went through three stages of my life. One, I always needed the TV on when I went to bed. Always. Until I was around 15 or 16. Okay. Then it became I always needed a fan on. And that was like, that had a good run. That was up until I was like 23 or 24. Mm -hmm. Once these smartphones came out, I have to go to sleep listening to something. Like headphones in falling asleep. Really? Yeah. That's like, weird. Yeah, like I'll put on I'll put on like uh something that I know is enough time for me to fall asleep. Like I won't play a 3-minute video or 4-minute video. Like I'll do a meditation that's like an hour long. Oh, well that's different. Yeah, yeah, that helps me go to sleep. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. You started meditating, right? Yeah, I did. It's good, right? See, and that's another thing that I yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. You just got to give it a shot and stick with it. I'm telling you, yo, it's going to change your whole fucking shit. <laughs> Do you do it in the morning and at night? I only do it in the morning. Implement at night a little bit if you're feeling a little bit restless. It's not the be-all, end-all, like I'm going to be able to go to sleep, but the stuff that we just talked about, um, constantly thinking about our day, you don't think about that. Yeah. You let that shit go. Yeah, yeah. And then and now it's like, yo, I'm actually in tune with my body. Like, yo, I, when I'm really meditating and I'm deep like 20 minutes in, I feel parts of my body and like muscles and things going on in my body that I never even knew was there because I'm not focusing on it. Yeah. Like just focusing on my breath and feeling my feeling my chest rise and go back down. It's fucking crazy. And, and like that's all I'm thinking about. Yeah. It's Josh. <laughs> jo Muay Thai Josh. What's he doing? I don't know. He's being like a cat. Yeah. He's like making noises but then Meow. being quiet. Yeah. But are, you're liking it though, right? Oh, there he there is. is. There he goes. Muay Thai Josh. There he goes. Fucking kicking a can off someone's hand in there. Yeah. Um. <laughs> He's sparring. He's shadow boxing in the hallway. <laughs> Don't shots. Yeah. But do you feel that like you get that calm? Yeah. Well, I'm blank. I, I'm doing it in like increments. So it was like three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. Yeah. I think today I did 15 minutes. Um, cause I just put it on while I was in the sauna, which was like a weird experience. Like I don't really recommend that, but I know, uh, but, uh, yeah, I do it for an hour. That's a long time. Yeah. It's, it's also like for me, it's at it's, night it's, in the morning. It's like 20 minutes. It's competitive for me because it's so hard when you first start out to do that and to not think Dude. about shit and to not, and just to let it all go. It's hard when you get good at it. To the moment where that stops happening, you are going to be on such another level of calmness, a level that you never knew you could reach. Right. It's almost fucking like medical. It's like euphoric. Yeah. It's where you're just like, you feel like you're floating on your back in a pool. It's fire. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be great. You're going to love that. It took me like a year to get there, though. Right. But just keep trying. Yeah. I feel like I'm at a point in my life now where I'm just trying a bunch of different weird shit. And Alana hates it. Really? Yeah. Some people just can't sit still. Oh, my God. I'm like, yo. Muay Thai Josh is one of those guys. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Muay Thai Josh, he God moves damn. around a lot. I, I don't know if he ever sleeps. Josh? Nah, he's just like a fucking pinball machine. No, he like, keeps moving his feet, though. And he, when he sleeps, he moves his feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a, I had a friend that would <laughs> wiggle his feet. That's Josh. Like, like, like a fish. While he's sleeping, just going. Muay Thai Josh. Josh, come here. Oh God! Is it true that you move your feet when you sleep? Yeah, it makes it helps me fall asleep. I wiggle myself. He just goes like this, like with his feet. Like a little fish. Like see, like a fish, like your friend. I got a fish friend too. I would look at him. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, man. You know what I do? I can see how that sensation would be like whatever, but I can't fall asleep doing that. I need to be perfectly still. I'll shake my foot if I'm not ready to go to sleep, because now I'm just like. I'm fucking restless, but I'm not like, all right, I'm going to sleep. Flippy flop, 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 flop. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not starting up an engine to go I'm to not sleep. To swim to sleep. Yeah, no, but my sleeping habits need to definitely get better for sure. Um, it's that time, boys and girls. We just got a letter. letter. We, we just, just got, got a letter. That's Greg. Yo, Josh, can you go get him, please? It's Greg down there. Greg Dybic. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. From other people's lives. Yeah, we're going to record right after this. You guys have got a crazy episode today. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't want to give it away. It. I'm not going to say it. We're in between seasons right but, now. But I want to know how this went after. Oh, well, if, you could if, watch the episode. Yeah. You bastard. Okay. I get it. I get it exclusive, though, a little, maybe a little before. What'd you say? Maybe I could hear it a little bit before. I'm not showing you shit. See? You know, I try so hard. <laughs> this is what I get. Joe, where can I find you? ringing my doorbell again, this son of a bitch bastard. Um, What'd you say? Oh, I said, Joe, where, where can they find you? Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're taking the reins a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. What's this kid doing? Are you just let him in? This kid rings his fucking bell again. Jesus. <laughs> Jeez, take it easy, Greg. Where's he got to take a shit? <laughs> <laughs> this kid rang my bell. My what? My bell. My bell. I just said a bell. Sound like, like, like Rocky Balboa. <laughs> Well, 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 well. Well, well, well. Oh, hey. Oh, it's another half of other uh, people's oh, food. Can we, I got can we, food. Can we get Greg's joggers on the on the show, please? He's showing the ankle today. Greg, oh. put the look at that. It's called an ankle. He's from Dumbo. He lives in Dumbo, Brooklyn. So mm. you know. You gotta show the ankle over there. They're very stylish. More like other people's thighs. <laughs> that was an ankle though. That was an ankle. It was an ankle. Where Joe? Where can they find you? Yeah, where can they find me? Uh, he's got sushi. What else is new? Um, anyway, I'm from Dumbo. I eat sushi. I wrote a book. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, like to read at the park. I like to do that too, though. Do you? I don't. I. I mean, I'm not. Gonna don't s- give me that. No, I. I found it very enjoyable. Do I do it? No, I don't do it. Yeah. But I did it, and it was nice. I don't understand the destination. What is it? It's just shrimp. It's cut. He won't eat it. He's not going to eat it. You won't eat it. Chew the whole thing. You don't have anything to dip this in or something? Okay. What's it going on? <laughs> I don't know. It's just like an ASMR no, mukbang I'm just, now. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's turned into a mukbang. You, you're very capable of a lot of things. You're one of the most capable people I know. One thing you're not capable of is going to a park and reading every day. It's not going to happen. No, hell no. It's not going to happen yeah. every day. <laughs> no. No, but I went that one time because I had some time to... And you like physical books, right? You don't like Kindles? I love a Kindle. Ugh. That's the only way I could read. And I don't read, but that's the only way I could read. A Kindle? Yeah. No. I'm, a, I'm an irresponsible asshole. I don't have bookmarks. I'm not going to be one of those guys that bends the pages. <laughs> Remember that? You got a bookmark? Mm-hmm. You have a bookmark? Oh, you bend. Nah, bend. You bend? bend? You ruined the book, man. You only got to read it once. That's not true. How do people read books more than once? Uh, they're idiots. What the fuck is that? I don't know. A lot of time. A lot of time. Do you multiple read? Couple books. That's so disgusting. fucking disgusting weird disgusting to freak. me. Not many, not many. I just don't understand the actual physical capability of reading one book. That's already a problem for me. Now, saying that book was so good, I'm going to read it again. No sense. You know what people do? They read a book and they highlight and then they read it again. And then it's like, what? I saw somebody reading a novel in the dog park the other day and they were taking notes. They were writing in the book. They were taking notes? Yeah. They were grading it? They were basically, they looked like a teacher reading like somebody's fucking uh, thesis. On Abraham Lincoln. What does this mean? <laughs> yeah, you want to know what I heard about Abraham Lincoln? He was like an amazing wrestler. Like, 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 ah! like Stone Cold. Stoner, no, 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 like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like free slaves, give me hell, yeah. No, yeah. but it's, it's, it's fuck slavery. Fuck slavery. Hell stun, yeah, I'm a stun slavery, and that's the bottom line. No, but uh, <laughs> he was like a really good like amateur wrestler. Well, he's a tall, like, sharp dude. Now let me ask you this: then. sharp features. Because back then people were smaller. Yeah. If Jesus is real, how tall do you think he was? Oh, uh, he's, you know, he's probably like 5'10 or something. Jesus was not 5'10, dude. That was like 4,000 years ago. Well, 2,000 years ago. What does that mean? They can't be tall? Evolution says. They were shorter? That they were short as shit. Oh, so we could beat them up. Yeah, I would have kicked Jesus' ass. Yeah? Yeah. I'll tell you this. You know, he went to that temple. And he was Jewish, right? If he came to my temple and flipped that fucking table over, we'd be moving some furniture in there. Yeah? I mean, Jesus. I don't know, man. <laughs> Yeah, no, Jesus could, Jesus could fuck me up. For no, sure. but Jesus, he like cured that guy of lupus or something. 
No. So he could put some lupus on you if he wants. Yeah. Or whatever that was. Yeah. I there's forget. also there's also like the book of Job. Who the where, fuck is that? All right. So this is how fucked up this story in the Bible is. All right. It's the book wait. of Job, I believe. So the devil and God are having a conversation one day, right? Well, just like shooting the shit, playing cards? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. They were having one of their heaven hell fucking meetings. quarterly meetings. Okay. Yeah. So they're talking and he's like, look at Job. He does this. He has a, a farm. He has a beautiful family and he praises me every day. And Satan was like, yeah, of course he does. You give him everything. And then God was like, you know what? I'm going to show you how much he loves me. I'm going to take all the shit away. Kills his family. Ruins his fucking farm. Gives him fucking like lupus, like fucking shit all over his face. And he keeps praying to God. So God basically ruined this guy's life just to prove a point to Satan. That's a little weird. I don't know how I don't know about this. And Job kept praising God after that. Mm -hmm. So he was like, see, he still loves me. Interesting. Ruined his fucking life. You got any more scriptures you want to go over? Or that was the no, only no, one? no. That that one just always <laughs> sticks out with me. The Book of Job. I remember my cousin one time was telling me uh, he saw Anthony Mason, the old Knicks player, obviously. If you don't know who that is, he's like, "Yeah, I've been reading the Bible. Uh, I'm on Leviticus. It's the first book of the Bible." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, isn't the first one Genesis? No. I don't know, man. I would have believed anything you said. I thought yeah. it was Genesis, though. Genesis. Anyway, I think that's Great all. Great band. That Gen- oh. Yeah. I think that's all for today. Yeah. We were all over the place today, man. Yeah, you know. I still have a, a small feeling that I could beat Jesus up in a fight if we fought. Yeah, I'd probably do it, too. Yeah. Not that I, I would. I'm no, just saying if you no, started with no. me, though. If I didn't know he was G- Jesus. Yeah. I almost said Jewish. I, I, he was Jewish, but yeah. if I didn't know that he was Jesus, if he picked a fight with me, like if he got drunk and was getting a little disorderly, yeah, I think I could handle my business. That's what I'm saying. If Jesus turned up on me, I'd put him in his place if I had to. I, I'm not against you. Yeah, that's all. Um, where can they find you? Uh, at Danny Lopriori on Instagram and Twitter, and make sure to check out the Stank Podcast with me and Mr. Frank Alvarez for all your favorite movie, TV shows, and maybe even see my toes. Your toes. I'm a toe guy now. Okay. Uh, you guys can fall. Jeez. Uh, uh, you can find me and Danny probably in hell after that whole conversation about Jesus. Nah, me and Jesus are cool. Yeah, he gets it. Yeah. Um, But yeah, you can follow me on social media at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show at The Basement Yard on Instagram and our Patreon, patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. And uh, yeah, that is all. See you guys next time. Sorry, Jesus. <laughs>